Hey guys, what's up? It's Ron here on the Grand Holler update. I'm about 90% done. There are a few things I just don't like about this kit. It's too toy plastic-like on a few particular pieces like the arrow horns, cab lights. I'm not really fond of the headlights, so I didn't put them either. Those are all things I'll be changing over to metal. But I'm trying to get some lighting in here to show you guys uh, how that paint job looks. It's like road grime coming through there. Um, and it, it kind of goes around. If, if the lighting will catch it, I'm not sure. I'm move the truck around. It goes into around the rivets. And coming down. And then wraps around as you would like on a normal road and tar coming up over the fenders and across the back. If I can get that lighting. You'll see it coming in there if I zoom in. And also around the back of the cab itself, the lighting's kind of bad right now, but that's because I'm trying to catch this. You could see more of a road grime effect. It's reflecting out there now. Out that chrome. There was a lot of chrome on here. I wasn't sure if I wanted to stick chrome. But uh, let me switch the lighting real quick here. So let me come in close here so you can see some of the things. Uh, copper on the rivets, three millimeter on the air tank. Uh, electrical tape sliced down there. Some of the paint scheme you can see coming in there. Uh, coming through here, all the handles and rivets are copper, coppered out. All that's then sprayed again with the flat. Uh, lacquer to keep everything protected five millimeter around the gas tank electrical tape sliced down matte black um, Coming to the rear tank you can see some of the big grime on the body the way it would look It was hauling High mild mileage Just things. I don't like about it is air horns suck. They're plastic to chin chintzy cab lights I do not care for um I'll be placing both of them. Windshield visor, I don't like. Um, I don't feel like gluing anything to the cab. I'd rather screw it in. And front headlights, I just don't care for them. I don't think they're considered, uh, what can I say, uh, professional RC grade enough. Other than that, um, my brooder conversions could probably outrun, out pull, out uh, drive through stuff than this could uh, any day a week this has a purpose of maybe hauling trailers and that's about it but it's not gonna it's not gonna be able to take the abuse of a brooder can because those are made to be bulletproof and then when i convert them powerful drive terrains uh it makes them second to none probably the best rcs i can get for the price but yeah this is a cool one thanks a lot for watching that's my rc